guys, welcome back to our channel. Hi guys. So in today's video, we're going to be recreating an iconic food or dessert from the TV show Friends. Yeah, that's right. So this is probably the most iconic food that they made on that show. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I'm excited and also a bit... <laughs> <laughs> Scared? Uh, reluctant. Yeah. Is that the word? Yeah, I'm reluctant to try it, but I'm also curious as to how it will taste. Yeah, I mean, in the words of Joey Tribbiani, beef? Good. Custard? Good. Come back from shopping. I'm sure you could probably tell when we were putting the items in the basket that we're going to be making Rachel's signature trifle today. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Really looking forward to this. It's yeah. going to taste meaty. Yeah. So what I want to know is, are we supposed to put gravy in there? I really hope not. I don't think so though. Okay. I'm kind of going over the episode in my head and I'm pretty sure there's not gravy in there. No. Okay, so should we get started? Okay, so who uses a frying pan to make trifle? <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. That's a lot of beef. I know. Are, are we supposed to use that much? Well, we are now. The minced beef is currently cooking and the onion is all chopped and ready to go. It smells good so far though. We haven't got to the sweet part. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who may not have watched Friends, what happens in the episode is Rachel is cooking um, or making a trifle um, for Thanksgiving dinner and the recipe book that she uses, the uh, two pages get stuck together so she ends up making half an English trifle and half a shepherd's pie. So we've just mixed the onions in with the minced beef, as you would do in any normal trifle. Adding salt and pepper. No, it's really appetising. I mean, the way it smells at the moment, it smells like we're going to have Making shepherd's pie or Ooh, yeah. shepherd's a spaghetti pie. bolognese or something like that. Oh, yes. Yeah, but we're not. Oh. <laughs> now we're going to actually start putting together the trifle. So the first step is to pass the lay fingers around the bowl. So okay, this isn't my right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm letting you do it. It's funny, but I had a mince lamb hot pot for lunch, and now I will be having minced beef for dessert. <laughs> Not the best of presentation, but that's kind of the best I could do. So there's the bottom layer done. Nothing really matters at this point. Just mixing in the peas with the beef and onion. Look at that, looks delicious. All we need now is some mashed potato. And... Some gravy, yeah. <laughs> oh no, here we go. This is the fun bit. We're just gonna do a layer here over the lovely sponge fingers. Your mouth is watering now. No? Yeah. <laughs> so we're now going to use all the remaining custard and just. Punch fingers. I'm just gonna 
so we'll just make one. Yeah. Oh. And we'll just make one hell of a dish. Squirty cream. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I can't get it to work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. This is probably the most fun part of it. Is it? How much fat do you think is actually in there? I hate to It's got bananas though in the last week. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wow. That's Work incredible. <laughs> that actually looks delicious. Look at the custard just oh, leaking down the piece. passageway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's time to dish up the lovely trifle we've just made. Mm -hmm. So, let's just talk you through the layers here. So, we've got... Oh, it smells good. <laughs> we've got a layer of lady fingers, a layer of jam, a layer of custard, which we didn't make from scratch. <laughs> Come on, let's dish up. Okay. Because do you, would you like to do the honours? While the beef is still hot. Oh, do you yes. Want that? Oh, God. Let's go for a big bite here. Yeah. I think that will be enough for me. Make sure you got all the layers. Oh, God. I'm really not looking forward to this. Banana, beef, custard, jam, uh, pea. Uh, pea. One pea, I think. Yeah. At the bottom and the finger. I haven't been able to get a raspberry, thing. but I'll have a raspberry a raspberry. Mm. It's actually not that bad. I don't get any meat. I think the meat and the banana mixed together actually goes well. Do you like it? Can't be good for your stomach, but. I don't know how I feel about it. It's not that bad. Do you want to eat the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, why not? It's the texture though of the meat, yeah. Yeah. which is a bit off-putting. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Yeah. So you have all like know. these smooth, sweet flavors, mm -hmm. and then you have this like hard, like, rough <laughs> texture of the meat. If that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, we're still going. We're yeah, not, I mean, it's quite nice. I don't think I could have the whole thing. No, definitely not. Question is, what? does it taste like feet? No, it doesn't taste like feet. But then again, I don't know what feet taste like. <laughs> well, there's no cheese in it, so... Well, maybe that's what's missing. <laughs> okay. Let's go for it. Three, two, one, go. Custard is so overpowering, it kind of cancels out yeah. the taste of the meat. I guess it's basically like having a, like a whole meal in one. Yeah. Having your dinner and your and your dessert in one sitting. Yeah. This is a two course meal. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with the rest of this, mm. so we'll need to figure out how we finish it. You're just going to have to eat it. Enjoy. That's your challenge to finish this in one week. One week? Yeah. I'm not really eating that in a week's time. The outcome is that we're basically joey. Yeah? Yeah. Because it's not that bad. It tastes quite nice. Yeah. We didn't Maybe because there's a lot of sugar in it. <laughs> but yeah, I cancelled out everything else. Yeah. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this video at our expense. <laughs> yeah, we hope you found it entertaining. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to smash that like button. It's just... I've already said that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was not paying attention. Make sure you subscribe because we're very low on subscribers and yeah, the more subscribers we get, the more stupid challenges that we do. Actually, maybe don't subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> no, please do. Um, but until next time, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. More? No. <laughs>